tuning in so today we've got a really special treat we're going to do some sustainable fishing and we're going to cook up a coastal treat we're going to cook up some seafood chowder and we're going to go and see Ian on uh, dry island so we've got to cross this bridge and there's Ian in the boat over there so we'll get over this bridge and uh, take it from there Don't worry, you'll be able to hold this anyway. I'm just going to show it to you first. So this is the only creature that can put its mouth out of its stomach. Its uh, mouth is also its bottom as well, so it's quite uh, an unusual creature. So one of its favourite things to eat is a clam or a mussel. It can put two arms around the clam like this. It just has to prise it open a tiny little bit and then it can slide its stomach inside you while you're still alive and eat you while you're still alive. So clam fishermen or mussel farmers don't like them very much. So when they used to catch them, they used to break them up into bits to kill them and chuck them back over the side. Unfortunately, if you break this up into five bits, it'll grow back into five starfish. So rather than making the problem better, they would actually make it worse. So you kind of think of the starfish as quite a delicate creature, but in reality, they're quite difficult to kill. That's why they've been around for so long, yeah? So this is what we're trying to catch here. It's a nice line of steam. Finger and thumb, just there, okay? A 
Okay, so we've got Ian here, we've just been out on his fantastic little trip, uh, the Shellfish Safari on Dry Island. Uh, Ian, could you tell us a bit more about sustainable fishing and what you do here? Uh, we try and fish as sustainably as possible. Anything that's too small, out of season, uh, buried, uh, gets thrown back still alive. Uh, so the idea here is any fisherman worth his salt should be getting off a boat at the end of his career and trying to leave the ocean in a better state than he found it. Uh, it doesn't always work like that, but I think most fishermen uh, would like to do that. Uh, so what we do uh, now, I did actually at one stage when I was younger get up to over uh, a thousand creels wow. um, just to try and keep up the catch rate. But instead of doing that now, what we try and do is we uh, sell shellfish locally, uh, farmers market, my wife's up at a Puyi market today, and dress her own crabs, things like that. We even do shellfish trips here and then people come ashore and have the freshest possible shellfish that we've just caught. So it's all sorts of things like that. Uh, make your living, but it doesn't mean that you have to hammer the seabed at the same time. That's fantastic. And what sort of things are you catching out here at the minute? I mean, we're, uh, we're, in, we're in May now, so what sort of things are you hoping to catch? Uh, May is traditionally not the best time of year <laughs> to catch things. Uh, <laughs> they usually call it May no pay. Uh, but just now, we're still catching a few langoustines, uh, squat lobsters, velvet crabs. Uh, in another month or so, uh, the brown crab fish will get to uh, pick up and hopefully we'll catch a few lobsters as well. Great stuff. Well, thanks a lot, Ian, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. It's been a brilliant trip today and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, it's people like you and your family that make it for me as well. <laughs> Thank you. Some squat lobster, three lovely squat lobster, some fresh prawns, and some velvet swimming crabs. So they're lovely and velvety there, and these are the paddles that they use for swimming. So, first thing we'll do is just half these little potatoes up and get them in for boiling. Get that lid on. So while those potatoes are just blanching in that water, we've just got this lovely, lovely fillet of salmon. Now for this recipe, I don't really want the skin. Now I do love this skin obviously when it's pan fried, uh, but not today in this recipe. So we're just gonna take that skin off. Right now I'm just going to portion that salmon up into nice sections. You don't want the salmon too small because it will break down as it's cooking. So I'm going to probably leave it. Some of these bigger bits I might just cut again. Into nice cubes. With this garlic, I'm just going to crush it. I'm not going to worry about the skin. And that's just going to go straight in the pot as it is. Now we've got a beautiful lemon here. Make sure we get that squeezed in.
good grind of black pepper. And we're just going to test these potatoes. Yeah, they're they're almost ready. So time to go in with the seafood. And goes the salmon. Final glug of wine. Good dollop of cream. A few bits of parsley. So the last thing we're going to add is one whole chilli, they're only mild these, but one whole chilli, just chop that up nice and finely. that and then we're just gonna put these nubs of butter in as well just to give that a smooth and silky taste Right, that's ready. Time to serve. Oh. Oh, yeah. Lovely bit of salmon. One of the velvet crabs. Ooh. Lovely bit of garlic. Let's get some of those potatoes from down the bottom. Prawn there. Just get a bit of that juice on. Mm. 